Hi, my name is Roberto Marchesi and I am the art director for Hitman Absolution and you are watching Platform 32. Stealthy Slaphead, Agent 47's newest outing, Hitman Absolution, first came onto my gaming radar in a big way after 2011's Eurogamer Expo, when visitors to the game's developer session were treated to an incredible 15 minute gameplay demo, footage of which you can see playing right here. The mixture of stealth, action, moody graphics and dark dark humour blew me away, and I've been following development of the game closely ever since then. But maybe you're still in the dark about this awesome assassination simulator. Well, luckily for all concerned, I went to this year's E3 where I bore witness to some brand new gameplay and managed to ask Roberto Marchese, the art director on Hitman Absolution, some probing questions about the game. Starting with, what exactly is Hitman Absolution? Hitman Absolution is uh, the return of Agent 47 on the gaming scene and is the most ambitious and uh, advanced game that IO Interactive has ever produced. Story-wise, the uh, events that take place in Absolution start off with a very dramatic uh, event. It's the fact that he's tasked to take out Diana Burnwood. She is she, his former handler in the previous games and for the fans of the series they do understand that this is something major because she's been telling 47 up until now what to do and in Absolution for the first time he will be on his own and will have to unveil a, a conspiracy around a girl called Victoria all by himself and at the same time he will be fleeing from his uh, former agency, the ICA. We saw a few examples of Agent 47's brand new instinct skill during the Eurogamer demo, but we saw a whole lot more during the E3 demo. As it's a new gameplay mechanic to the series, can you tell us all about it? Instinct is uh, a very game, a broad game spanning mechanic that informs the player of the relevant things that are present on a level when he activates it. He gets uh, access to the targets, the guards on the level and all the props and uh, interesting uh, objects on the level that can be used to maybe create a distraction or even a deadly accident for the target in question. Um, it's fundamentally the same as the old uh, uh, minimap from the previous games but the, diff the biggest strength of Instinct is that it keeps the player grounded into the body of 47 and he never yanks him out of the action. You mentioned distraction techniques and deadly accidents. Could you elaborate on this? What we're showing here at E3 is our King of Chinatown hands-on demo that everyone can play. And uh, it revolves around a very simple hit. It's pretty early in the game and uh, 47 is tasked to take out an uh, upstart gangster in a small confined area that we call Chinatown. Here you can uh, actually, with a bit of uh, exploration, find several ways to take out uh, this gangster. He is very fond of uh, eating at a certain restaurant, so maybe you could try to poison his food. And uh, he's also uh, a car lover and he's really caring for his car, so maybe planting an explosive under the car could solve the thing. It's not very elegant, but that could be a solution. There are different ways to doing it. Some of them are extremely uh, uh, loud and will raise suspicion and the crowd that is on the level will panic while some other ways are very very subtle and no one will actually ever know that you were there on the level. We were also shown Agent 47's disguise and blending skills when he stole a mechanic's uniform so that he could infiltrate a junkyard. Can you tell us more about these skills? The disguises and blending are again another aspect of the, of the instinct that can be used for more advanced players. Uh, disguises have always been a hallmark of the series and we want to get a more comple a complete experience now to the players and create uh, a more realistic approach to it. So now uh, if a player is wearing a right disguise he can fool the NPCs that are hunting him on a level and uh, he can even perform uh, hiding plain sights which for instance if you're wearing a cop disguise and uh, you have to get through an area with a lot of cops you might spot a donut uh, box and if you just act blasé and walk up to the donut uh, box you can perform a hiding plain sight uh, routine this is just 
for seven acting like he's about to choose a donut and uh, the cops will be fooled into thinking he's just one of them because of course he cannot be the guy they're looking for if he's just walking up for the donut and this mechanic can be performed according to what uh, disguise you're wearing and uh, what props are in the area. Another new gameplay mechanic we saw demoed was called point and shoot. What's it all about? Yeah, that's also something we wanted to introduce to make the game more deep and uh, add more tools at the player's disposal. Uh, it still comes under the instinct feature and it's, it's, uh, it's uh, let's say, a, a deeper level of instinct. Um, point shooting is uh, it's a very action-oriented mechanic that uh, is introduced to simulate the trained mindset of a, of a highly skilled shooter. Uh, when you're entering a room, you're surveying a room and uh, you feel like uh, you have to take down multiple opponents, you can burn some of the instinct you have to slow down time and place tags uh, on the enemies that you want to take out. Like we've seen in the Streets of Hope demo at the end, one point, you can, uh, Agent 47 walks up to a barbecue uh, where there are several uh, enemies grilling and he can then perform, perform performs a point shooting by slowing down time, tagging the different enemies and then activating the mechanic itself. It's really important to understand that it has a price uh, so that it cannot be abused every time a tag is placed some of the instinct from the instinct meter gets eaten so that uh, you cannot do it in infinitum and it has to be uh, it has a very strong tactical element cool i love tactical elephants along with 47's new instincts comes a new rating system how does this work there is no right and wrong way to play absolution it's really up to the player and the choices he makes to uh, develop the, the, the type of gameplay that he wants but there is a very strong stealth element that will allow you to get the silent assassin rating the silent assassin rating is uh, it's, it's one of the uh, hallmarks of the series and it can be achieved if you uh, touched no one but your target on a level that no one has ever seen you and you actually removed additional evidence present on a level uh, in the form of uh, security tapes. And uh, the rating system is, uh, is dynamic so when the player is uh, acting in the world and uh, having uh, is forced maybe to take down NPCs, the rating will be uh, affected by it and uh, if he manages to take out the target without being seen, he will of course get better rating. This ties into a score system that uh, has a very strong competitive element, so uh, if you feel that you are the world's best assassin, you can now finally prove it because it has uh, friend leaderboards, national leaderboards and even worldwide leaderboards. Sweet! Gotta love leaderboards! Well. Actually, I don't, because they always make me look rubbish. Oh well. During the E3 demo, Agent 47, or whoever was controlling him, treated us to a rather elaborate kill involving a long drop from the roof of a garage and a lump of C4 thrown next to a petrol pump. The resulting explosion was an awesomely extravagant way to wipe out the target, and was much cooler than just shooting him in the head. Will there be lots of ways to experiment with crazy kills? Well, uh, creativity and choice are hallmarks of the series, so it's really your uh, your imagination that sets the, the limits to a certain degree. I mean, what we really want to cater for are uh, all kinds of play styles, and we want to make sure that no matter what the player chooses to throw at the game, the, the game will actually answer back. Uh, it's really important that targets have uh, are surrounded by extremely lethal accidents waiting to happen that can be triggered by the player and all those accidents are uh, very specific for the location he's present in. In the uh, Streets of Hope demo that we're showcasing here there is for instance a mechanic uh, uh, garage where one of the cars is being repaired and uh, with a bit of uh, luck or even just a push from the player your target might wander under the car and uh, that leads to something but it's really uh, the player's uh, own imagination that can set the limit. Now, the level we were shown at E3 had a very 1950s American look to it, whereas the gameplay shown at last year's Eurogamer looked like modern times. Will there be time travel? No, there is, there is absolutely no time zone uh, switch. It's just uh, 
the fact that you are traveling across uh, America and this is a very stylized version of America. It's, we, we don't try to make it stereotypical, we try more, to make it more archetypical. I mean, uh, you could argue it if when you leave London and you just travel 50 miles north, you actually are entering a time bubble sometimes. <laughs> but uh, this is just our way of presenting a very run-down uh, 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 town in the South Dakota that is just it, it doesn't exist at all this is just our representation of it and it's really good for gameplay because it also supports the mood that we wanted to make and the story arc that 47 goes through uh, is also reflected in a way in the locations that he's visiting. There's most definitely a dark sense of humour in the game we've seen cops being killed by bongs in one playthrough and in this year's E3 demo we were confronted by two dogs doing it well doggy style while a policeman watched on. How important was it to get that comedy element in there? Hitman has always been known for having this edgy style and pushing a bit the boundaries of what is considered uh, humor and uh, for us dark humor is really important for the franchise because it marries really well with uh, the mood and the type of game it is. It is a uh, murder simulation to a certain degree but it also uh, a very endearing world that we want to cater for and humor is one way to actually make it believable for the player. Finally, I spotted loads of garden gnomes in the demo. Is there someone on the team that really likes garden gnomes? We love garden gnomes. We, we really wanted to make unique props and the garden gnomes are a really good example of something that stands out. Uh, we want to make sure that if a prop from or, or an object from the level of the game is taken out of context and shown to someone, they would say straight away that Garden Gnome can only come from uh, Hitman Absolution. There's no other game they would actually dare to have a certain state dressed Garden Gnome. Awesome. Thanks, Roberto. Oh, and uh, one last thing. When's it out? In theory, the, 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 the users, users can already experience some of Hitman Absolution by pre-ordering it right now because they will get access to the Sniper Challenge, which is, in a way, something that will teach them to see the, uh, to use some observational skills and uh, uh, they will use in the game later on. But it's uh, and it will keep them entertained with a competitive aspect for hours. But the game will come out November the twentieth for uh, PS3, Xbox 360 and PC. Cheers chap, and don't worry, I'll be getting my pre-order on right now because Hitman Absolution was definitely one of the best games I looked at this E3. I just love the humour and the amount of choice available in the game when it comes to stalking and killing my prey. While the stealth element is still in the forefront, the addition of Instinct looks to make killing creatively a lot easier and a lot more fun, but the ranking system will make sure the game still proves to be a challenge for those who want to be the bestest hitman in the world ever. I absolutely cannot wait for some absolution this November. <laughs>